cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it, the way she work it The way she whip it, whip it She's so savage, she ain't average, yeah You don't want none of this, <laughs> but you do Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today we are making a savory homestyle pot roast okay and I am using some good old chuck roast it's boneless it's just a nice medium sized roast and I also have some carrots here as you can see there my red potatoes and my onions and I'm just gonna go ahead and start chopping these up so we can get started okay all right so the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna chop these up in halves. Look at that, just a half, okay? And that's it, that's all I need. That's all I need, because I'm also making some candy yams and I don't want to have too much starch, okay? So, that's done. All right, I got them in a bowl to the side. Now, I'm gonna chop up my onion. separate them see all these different layers put this in my bowl and that's it all right so I have my beautiful chuck roast here look at that <laughs> honey it is beautiful okay I'm gonna season this with some salt some of y'all probably looking at me crazy talking about salt, but I know you better put something else on there. Honey, I am, okay? I'm just gonna seal this off and salt is gonna give me nice color. That is a good amount of salt. Now we're gonna get ready to sear it. All right, y'all, so I am using my big black daddy cast iron skillet, okay? So you wanna make sure that you let the skillet warm up before you add your oil. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Nothing special, it's just straight up olive oil. See that? Okay, look at that, it's already warm. I'm gonna put this beautiful roast into the skillet. And honey, we gonna set this thing for dear life. Do y'all hear me? Yes, now we're not cooking it, we're just searing it, okay? We're just searing it to get a nice color on it. Also, so we can help trap in those flavors. Now, some people will actually like to put flour on this and coat it with flour, but the seasoning that I'm using, I've added flour too to help thicken up the gravy. So I'm not gonna put any flour on it, okay? And you wanna make sure you sear both sides and the sides as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip this. It's been tearing for about five minutes. I'm just gonna take this and flip it over. All right, so I don't wanna get too much brown on here but this is right where I prefer it to be. So I'm gonna taste this and I'm gonna put it into my crock pot and then we're gonna start the slow cooking process. Right on top. 
right on top of this. Okay. I'm gonna finish adding in my potatoes. Got a nice color on that. Okay, so here in this small bowl, I have a little bit of some of everything, okay? I'm going to post this recipe for this sauce right here. This is my seasoning. It has some thyme, it has some salt, pepper, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, fresh garlic. It has all kinds of things in here, okay? I'm going to post this in the description box below, and I'm also going to post it on the next screen. So make sure you see that, okay? But I'm just gonna take my seasoning and I'm gonna pour it all over this roast. Look at that. All over this. It's also some beef broth in here as well as a little bit of cornstarch. Y'all see my garlic in there that I put in there? I added just a little bit of water. And I'm gonna pour all of this in here, okay? This is gonna make our gravy, as well as the liquid from the actual roast itself, okay? So we're just gonna put that in there just like that. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. And that is it, y'all. That's it. Then we're gonna cover it. Let's cover this thing on up. And we're gonna cook this on high for about four to six hours. Well, let's check it out. Look at that. Tender it is. Oh, y'all see that? It's so tender. Got all of the juices there. You just take your little piece, a little chunk. Oh my gosh. Oh, ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Lord Jesus. <laughs> that is good. The seasoning is there, the flavoring is there. Look at that. I break it with the spoon and I wonder what happened. Oh gosh. Now you can actually let this cook a little bit longer if you want it even more tender. But honey, it's right here. That's it for me. Mm. That is beautiful.